Hello, softball guys and gals. Hope you are staying safe during this crazy time. Things are finally beginning to reopen up in the country. As you can see, I've even got a new haircut. Maybe there will be softball after all. Maybe you are carrying on with the idea that you want to manage a softball team when this pandemic subsides. What an impossible, unrewarding chore. I'll do you a favor. I'll discuss the different types of managers out there so you can figure out what to do and more importantly, what not to do. The first manager I'd like to discuss is Connie Mack. He used to own and manage the Philadelphia A's. What does this mean for you? You pay for everything. All team softball fees. In case you're new to this, softball dues are expensive. Do you want your team to have uniforms? Well, you can pay for that too. If you've ever played for a Connie, don't piss him off. He might ask for that jersey back. Now, the pros are, since you are paying, you don't have to waste endless hours trying to collect team dues. You've all played with some of these guys. The $10 a week guy. The I'll get you next week guy, but buys a first round of Olympias post game. Trust me, I know that guy well. I'm that guy. Also, when you put players on scholarship, it's a lot easier to recruit than you think. Hello? Oh, what's up, dude? Long time. What? Number three on the way? No kidding. In September? Oh, congratulations. Oh, I've been, I moved back to the Bay. I've been just fucking off. Yeah. I tried to give it a go last summer, but I think I'm over it. I'm a walking disabled list. You run a team? <laughs> You're serious? Dude, why? Why now? What, fu what fucking city is even running a league? Mountain House? They, there's no parks in Mountain House. They don't even have fields. All they have is mountains and houses. No, I don't fucking want to help. And no, I don't want to play. That's fucking far. Yeah, of course I have the time. No, it's not about the money either. I mean, I appreciate you offering to cover my dues. A thousand dollars per team? Come on. What the hell's that pay for? Participation trophies? Come on. For fuck's sake, man. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I'm not mad. This is just... You have a kid on the way. And this virus isn't going anywhere. Ha! <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I get it. You saw my first video. Sanitizer. I think you are too stupid to comprehend me trying to talk you out of this. So... Go ahead and pencil me in. You better recruit fucking enough people. I'm not trying to play nine man. You better throw a gas card in along with my scholarship. Mountain fucking house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, cool, man. All right. Later. What the fuck just happened? Son of a fucking idiot. As for the cons of being the Connie Mac, players on scholarship are usually pretty good at policing themselves, but when a conflict arises, can you handle it? Hey, Scoop. One is fucking drunk off his ass in the parking lot. Again? We have 15 minutes of game time. No way he's going to sober up. And you know he has a flask in his bat bag at all times. Okay, Biff. 
I'll look into it. Hey, Jeremy, can you do me a favor? What's up, boss? Do you mind checking Juan's bag, see if there's any booze in it? Sure. Why me? Hey, Connie, I found this in the bag, but it's pretty much empty. Thanks. I'll hold it for now. By the way, Jeremy, you got right center tonight. One. Got a minute? What's up, Skipper? One. I was thinking about giving Jeremy a little bit of run in the field tonight. How about you catch? No, 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 Skip. I got right center on lock. Think about it. It's just one game. We're going to smoke this team anyways. You want Jeremy to play the field? You act and catch, and I'll EP. One. EP is not really an option. Well, I guess I see you fuckers at the bar. Where the hell is my flask? Hey everyone, it's D Sav, aka Savage, aka Dan. Thank you for patiently waiting for the segment, second segment of my series, Why Being a Slow Pitch Manager Sucks. Feel free to share and subscribe to my channel, F U Savage. I will continue to post updates until we can get on the field and fall again. Hopefully it'll take less than four months next time. Thanks again for watching. Does anyone have some size 11 cleats? <laughs>